the last thing I'm going to tell you, my last point, is simply how I figured out what I wanted to do. So what I want to do in my life personally is that I enjoy developing people. Every product, every service that I, that I try to do, it's with the impact of helping other people achieve their dreams, developing them. I didn't wake up one day and realize that. In fact, it took two years to figure that out from the start I, when I started student activities at the end of my first year all the way to the end of my, um, my third year. It clicked two days before I left to the University of Virginia at a dinner for orientation assistants. And Tiffany, the same person who gave me that chance, who, you know, I'm still wondering what she was thinking today, and she made the right choice. She was like, Josh, and this, like, with this voice exactly, Josh, what I love about Josh is that he works hard, you know, he cares about you guys, and he really takes the time to develop you guys as leaders. And then it clicked. I kind of realized why I spent an hour, you know, helping students register for classes when at the end, at the end of the day, it wasn't really my job, it was counselors, but I just wanted to help. I realized why, why I wanted to co-found student government, why I did Phi Theta Kappa, which was an honor society, why I worked hard for students at my school. I like developing people. And I realized that is why I picked the career that I did as an entrepreneur, because it gave me the time to be able to go out and help people, help develop people. I'm not going to say that you're going to wake up one day and figure out what you want to do. But I can say that it's, it's scary being uncertain what you want to do. It's okay to change what you want to do. Because I wanted to be an attorney. I went to a business administration major. I wanted to do marketing as a, as a living, being a marketing manager. And then I chose entrepreneur and I haven't changed it for the last year and a half. I figured out not only do I like those careers, but I like them because they allow me to develop people, because they give me that time, that opportunity to do that. And the, the, the main point I have to give today with this, this lesson is that when you get involved with your, in your own life, when you do a whole bunch of things, that's how you figure out what you want to do. Because I can tell you, you'll never figure out what you want to do by just sitting here. So you have to move farther from the, set, the spot that you're now sat, sitting. Get involved with your own life, and yes, you will figure out what you want to do. Lead by doing it. To close off this presentation, it's very simple. Wanted to write a book, I looked on Google, figured out how to do it, talked to my business teachers, advocated for myself, was prepared to fail and be fine. Wrote a book. Wanted to build a mobile app, talked to 17 different people, met someone on a, uh, met, met one of my best friends now on a bus coming from a political rally, really random, coming from like a political rally near the cafeteria. We learned, we failed quite a bit, we developed it. I wanted to build a bus route. I felt very strongly because it affected me as a student. I asked a question, he gave me an answer. I sent him a proposal, he sent it out. The lady then met with me, bus route in reality. I wanted to go to the second best business school in the country, to be one of 34 students to be accepted as a transfer. And I said, you know what? The worst that can happen for me is that I write a paper, I do the college application, I send my resume, and I try my best as a person, and hopefully I'll get in. And I did. At the end of the day, it's not about how much you plan. It's not about how much you talk. It's about how you do it. And if you can lead by doing something, by doing whatever you want to do, then you will be fine. Because at the end of the day, what you're remembered for is how you execute what you're doing. Not how you write it out, not how you plan it. Lead by doing it. You know, there is, there is no difference um, between me or any one of you guys in this room. I'll be honest with you, I'm not very good in math at times, you know, I struggle, calculus is hard. I get distracted really easily. It's hard for me to focus in my class. I'm not really naturally smart. In fact, I would say that I'm below average at times. However, I work hard to use what I already know, and I work even harder to learn what I don't know. And Google makes all of that very easy for us. Mary Oliver asked you guys a question before, the old American English author. She asked, what are you doing with that crazy, precious life of yours? 
And the question that I give you today is what are you going to do with that precious life of yours? Thank you.